Okay, let's try this last question here. We're going to try and find out what angle K4 equals. What angle K4 equals. Well, maybe we have to do another angle first. Let's see. Why do I know that's 38 degrees? Well, remember when I said it was important to remember that NA equals NC? Well, that means that if that's 38 degrees over there, if CN equals NA, then it's angles opposite equal sides. We've got an angle right there, 38 degrees. And if that's 38 degrees, then we've got this angle is the exterior angle of the cyclic quad KTAC. And that means K4 must be 38 degrees. So CAN equals 38. Angles opposite equal sides because NA is equal to NC. And that means K4. K4 must be 38 degrees, the exterior angle of the cyclic quad. Now they say, can you prove that A, just go from A, go to M, go to K, and go to N. Why is that a cyclic quad? Why is that going to be a cyclic quad? Well, gee, we got a little triangle here. Um, Man, if we could figure out what angle N is, and we could with angles in a triangle, that would be 104 degrees. Now we're looking, look at that. That angle where M is and the angle with N, what do they add up to? 180. And that's one of the ways you can prove that you can put a circle around these four points, that they are part of a cyclic quadrilateral. And the reason is the converse of opposite angles in a cyclic quad. So that's why we can say A, M, K, N is a cyclic quad, because we know N is 104 degrees because of angle summing in triangle K and T, and then we can say it's, it, must be a, it must be a cyclic quad because of the converse of opposite angles in a cyclic quad. They add up to 180, and there we're all done.